triple A games are the worst of the worst. Now this is evident, as most triple A games now are pretty bad. I mean, they're made by these big corporations with a very big budget, and they still feel empty. Almost all AAA games are completely soulless, like devoid of all life. It feels like the developers don't care, and it's because corporate doesn't listen to the players. And worst of all, these games sometimes are just way too easy. I find it quite obvious that most AAA companies don't even really consider the player. They kind of have these playtests set up just for funsies, I guess, because they don't take any of the information from a man, clearly, because you play some of these games on, like, the basic difficulty, and it's actually just fucking atrocious. The game is, like, unplayably easy. It's actually not fun. There's no challenge at all, and challenge is pretty much always needed for fucking fun in video games. And when they aren't too damn easy, they're too damn hard, or too damn boring. So, them being these, you know, absolute titans of either difficulty or just absolute fucking hogswash, fucking boredom, it's hard to keep playing the game because they're just not enjoyable experiences at all. I mean, you can probably play any game made by fucking Blizzard or Valve or fucking Microsoft and it's not probably going to be that fun because, well, there's not much to do. The games these company makes are completely devoid of care and love and thought and so the game ends up just being completely soulless. If you were to look at any indie project developed by either just one to two people or even just a small team, they often have a lot more care taken into them. There's a lot more things that just make the gameplay more fun that, you know, AAA companies don't implement into their games. So, I mean, indie just kind of sweeps these in, like clean sweep type shit. I mean, it's so easy, dude. I would rather play almost any indie title compared to any AAA title. Because AAA games are really just normal games, but priced at $60 and have a shit ton of microtransactions that literally just let you win the game because they can, and, you know, why not? They want as much money as they can. That's why they make these games. Sir, some of them are, you know, long-running series, right? God of War, right? That's a long-running series, you know? They can't stop that, like Diablo, okay? They gotta keep it going. But it's when they keep it going in the worst way possible that it's just not, you know, it's not respectful, respected at all. Nobody's gonna respect your decision to make your game shitty and make the moral even shittier around it. Because no human thinks that you are, you know, cool or fucking a good person when you just absolutely do everything for money. I mean, you won't do that for fucking, you know people in our government, but you'll do it for AAA? Yeah, no, you won't. So, why? Who who, who do they make these games for anymore? I mean, it's clearly just the people who are like 20 to 30 years old and still play video games, you know, fucking don't work. They just want to play video games because they've played the same series over and over, like fucking Call of Duty. Even these long-running series made by AAA companies are usually just the same game, just remade. Like, each Call of Duty every year is almost the exact same, except for when they decide to completely overhaul everything that everyone liked and make it ten times worse than it was before. Like, the newest Call of Duty is literally terrible. This shit is fucking awful. I don't know why you'd ever want to put yourself through such torture playing it. I mean, Warzone isn't even fun. There's fucking three circles. What the fuck's up with that? That's fucking weird. There's the fucking weird, you know, equipping of, like, the attachment system. That shit is terrible. So, and, like, the old Call like, the older Call of Duties were just better. They did everything just strictly better. So, stick, these should just be sticking by that principle. But I guess they just completely throw it out the fucking window. Just fucking, hi -ya! Just completely ignore the fact that their players actually like the older Call of Duties. And I'm not hating just because these games are made by bourgeoisie giant fucking mega corporations. Because... Anyone can do that. I'm simply here to shed light on this. I hate AAA. It's not something new. Many people hate AAA. It's because they they just kind of stopped making good games. All right, most titles now like that were back in the the older days were a lot better back then than now. 
Like, you can think of almost any title. I mean, Diablo 3 was peak Diablo. They're still making Diablo. I mean, fucking that mobile game that no one, no one played. No one liked. I didn't even know that it existed until, like, a, a month or two ago. Like, what the fuck's the point in that shit, dude? No one's gonna play fucking mobile Diablo. Overwatch, that shit's terrible. They made their fucking $20 game free because nobody likes it. And it's literally just the older game, but with updates. <laughs> and they decided to make it a whole new title. Like, what is that? You could have just updated the first game and no one would have had to fucking, you know, reinstall new shit and stuff like that. It's like, man, I don't know. I just don't understand what they're thinking sometimes. Most of the time, you can tell indie titles are better just because they take more time. Even though it is a smaller, you know, pe amount of people making the games, they still make, get it done in a, in a timely fashion and very efficiently. If you've seen Pizza Tower, that game is absolutely jam-packed with action at every fucking corner. That game, what was like started development in what 2018, and at releasing now, there's so much, you know, complexity to that game that it makes sense that it took that long. And now something like fucking, you know. Like Diablo, this shit was act, like inactive for so long. Decided to bring it back, and it's just like all of a sudden it's here. And it's like who really cares? I mean, it, to be honest, it's just the fucking you know cash grab. They want people who played the older Diablos, most likely Diablo three players, because let's be honest, everyone here who played Diablo three actually enjoyed it, like I did. <laughs> I mean, my friends enjoyed Diablo three, the ones who played it. So of course, people who can play Diablo three gonna want to play the new one. So they buy the new one, see what it's like, and the Diablo four probably sucks. That's probably how it's going to be, because I don't see any passion in that at all. It just looks like it's there for money. I can guess that part of the reason why AAA sucks so much now is because every company is greedy for as much money as they can get their hands on. I mean, it's like fucking Mr. Krabs foaming at the damn mouth for fucking $5 bills. It's fucking wild, dude. I mean, they literally just make stuff just for money. It's like, you used to make stuff because it was fun, because people wanted to play it, because people liked it, and then now you've lost all sense of morals, so now you just want your fucking money, and it's like, no one's going to support that cause. Sure, everyone wants fucking money, but it's like, if you're going to want to make money doing games, which games are something that people enjoy so much, then it's like, why? Why do it in the worst way possible? Because then no one's going to want to enjoy your game, because... They can't. <laughs> they can't. They don't want you because they can't. It's, I mean, it's going to be impossible if your fucking game blows dick and your fucking company blows dick and everything blows dick because guess what? No one no one likes blowing mass dick. I'm not going to lie. It's like, what the fuck? And I'm sure there's been a lot of crying about game difficulty. Like, the fuck people who love challenges saying the game's too easy. And then the little crybabies who say the game's too hard. So it's like, they have, they have this duality. Do they either make fucking Elden Ring or do they make fucking God of War? <laughs> it's like, man, do I want this game to be too hard or too easy? It's like, they can't choose. It's, I mean, really, they, they just want to, you know give to as many people as possible because all these new people are coming in they don't really know how to play video games they probably touched a controller maybe once or twice in their lifetime and it's just it's a whole thing you know they they want to you know have those new people coming in as well as the returning people so it's always good to just make your game extremely easy or make it extremely hard for the people you know like Soulsborne no one wants to play an easy Soulsborne that removes all the fun out of a Soulsborne I've played some Soulsborne's I don't really enjoy them they're not my type of game mainly because they're rage games and I do kind of get mad although I try not to, but it's just still fucking inevitable. I should probably try to work on that, but I mean, the souls born just in general, this, the only thing they exist for is fighting bosses, and it's it's hard to do, so <laughs> I, I never really saw the point. It's like, other games actually have an incentive to keep playing, you know? Fucking Fortnite, you can level up your battle pass and shit. Fucking Minecraft, you can, you know, create bases and, you know, automate everything. It's like, Terraria, you can finally beat the Moon Lord for the fucking 15th time, even though you've literally done it as every class three other times. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have uh, this fucking topic. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to talk about something today because, well, I was struggling for gameplay. I had to fucking record Minecraft, and, you know, I, I want to post daily now, so hopefully I can actually kind of stick to that. And, uh, anyways, that'll probably be the end of this. Uh, see you guys.